Hey guys, Too Legit City here. Today in the game of Oxton Not Included, we're going to be going over another infinite liquid storage design. This is actually going to be our fourth method of storing liquids in an infinite pressure tank. And if you guys missed the other videos, I'll leave a link in the description down below so you guys can check those out. Now, this design is going to be a little bit different because we're going to be utilizing something known as crude oil. By using the crude oil as a mechanism to allow us to achieve infinite overpressure. And if you guys have seen the other methods, You'll know that creating infinite storage tanks usually revolves around bypassing the overpressure value of the liquid vents. Or by creating a circumstance that allows for the liquids to be compressed indefinitely, such as this door compressor method as you can see right here. Today's method is actually going to be of the former as we're going to be taking advantage of the liquid density value of crude oil. If you guys are not familiar with crude oil, it's actually the most dense liquid in the game, having double the density value of the next runner-up, which is actually going to be super coolant. The crude oil has a value of 500 uh, in terms of density grams per mole, and of course super coolant only has a value of 250. Although that's a large gap, the only thing that matters is that crude oil is in fact heavier. If you guys aren't familiar with the uh, liquid density chart, I'll leave a link in the wiki for you guys to check out in the description down below. Since the liquid vent actually overpressures at 1000 kilograms, we could trick the game by having a tile of oil at the vent at the bottom so that the vent never is able to achieve overpressure. That, with the fact that we have to put the liquid vent at the bottom tile, we could trick the game since the crude oil is never going to move. Now, because of that, the other liquids that you could store in the box is limited to everything that's not crude oil, as the crude oil itself is going to be the mechanism at which we could push the other liquids up without compromising the liquid vent's overpressure value. And because of that, we have to also surround our liquid tank with airflow tiles, although you can use manual airlocks and mechanized airlocks as well, since those will not be destructible by the liquid pressure values that you will achieve inside this box. Now let's talk about how to build the setup and everything you need to know about it. The design is simple. You're going to want to build about this layout, have a bottle empty already, releasing crude oil into that one tile. Of course, you're going to want your liquid vent to be there as well. And of course, get ready with a liquid pump and let's start setting up the pipelines so that we're ready to pump in and as well as pump out. So you guys, a lot of the times, want to set this up beforehand. And of course, make sure you get all this done because once it's sealed up, you're not going to be able to build your pipelines inside anymore or your power lines. So of course, this is going to be waiting for the duplicates to uh, complete the job. Now, once you have your crude oil, drop it off. The amount that you need to have on this tile is any amount greater than zero of crude oil. So just having the crude oil there is all that matters and you don't want to have a value more than 869 kilograms that's going to be because the value for crude oil once it's at 870 which is the max value for tile you're going to have the crude oil expand accidentally and you want to avoid that just so that you could have a little bit more space and don't accidentally pump out the crude oil with your liquid pump of course, after you're done by dropping off a little bit of crude oil, you're going to want to deconstruct your bottle emptier and wait for everything else to be done. After everything else is built though, you're going to want to seal it up on these tiles as well. Now there we go, that's going to be the design. We have the uh, crude oil on the liquid vent preventing the overpressure and now all we have to do is fill it up. And just like that, it's done. This is a very simple design, very easy. You don't need a vacuum or do anything weird with this. If you guys did want to have a cold or hot liquid stored inside, of course, you could always line this up with some insulated tiles all the way around. And of course, that's going to be up to you if you guys do want to do that. Now, the part about this that's going to be a little bit of a nuance is going to be this part. This part right here, all the tiles immediately around the liquid vents, is going to be things that you cannot change. This design has to be set like this so that the oil does not accidentally leave the uh, liquid vent tile. And of course, when the other liquids are coming in, it will get pushed up temporarily to this tile only until it fills up. 
Now, a lot of the times, you're not going to want to use exactly this design. So only these nine tiles in this box are the things that should not change. Everything else on this part, you guys could actually change to have a more accommodating design for your base. As the base setups are going to differ from person to person, player to player. So a lot of the times, you're going to want to build something that more fits your base, fits the design. And of course, if you want to insulate this, you could do so as well. Now, earlier we talked about how this design is only meant to store one liquid at a time, not including the crude oil that we're using for our lock mechanism. Because of this, you may accidentally pipe in another liquid, and if this were to occur, we're going to show you what happens. This is going to be dependent on a couple things. The input liquid has to be either heavier or lighter than the density of the liquid that's already being stored whether or not it's either going to be denser or lighter you're going to have two things happen and in both cases the results are going to be the same the crude oil that we're going to be utilizing for the overpressure mechanism is going to disappear as you can see right there the crude oil got bopped the moment we added in water so because of that i advise to have everything made out of airflow tiles so that the infinite pressure doesn't break any of the tiles if you were not going to use air flows on the bottom three right here because it is optional to have air flows on these i still recommend it in case something like this happens so guys you guys know now to watch out for that and of course in the case that you do accidentally pipe in another liquid you don't have to worry about the box breaking you're still going to be able to pump out the liquid and until you're able to stabilize the pressure so that it's not going to expand the moment you open it you can fix it afterwards but in the case that you guys accidentally do allow that in you guys don't have to worry about this cracking and breaking and leaking liquids all over your base but guys that has been the infinite liquid storage video design using crude oil if you guys have any questions about this leave a comment down below hope you guys enjoyed today's video and of course guys don't forget to like and subscribe thank you guys